Christmas came early for Canadians who love Bitcoin, and no, no, I'm not talking price. Canada's first Bitcoin rewards Visa card is here. My name's Darren, and we're gonna review ShakePay's new Bitcoin rewards Visa card. What is it? Who can use it? How does it work? Are there any alternatives out there? And ultimately, what's my experience with it? I'm not saying this lightly, this might be Canada's most sought after card there is. So ShakePay is a Canadian Bitcoin exchange. And what that means is it is a place where you create an account, send money to, and you're able to buy and sell Bitcoin on that app. I've ranked pretty much all the places you're able to buy Bitcoin here in Canada from worst to first. So ShakePay for me has been the best place to buy and sell Bitcoin for the second year in the row. They are a Montreal based company. It is super easy to sign up and get started. You can literally buy Bitcoin in 10 minutes. Um, they give you $30 for free when you make your first $100 purchase. Now this card has been available, is currently available today for all of those who have been on the waiting list. It gives you 1% back in Bitcoin every single purchase you make with a card. Again, it's only for ShakePay users, so you're gonna need an account, and currently you're going to need to be invited to this card if you're not already have been on the list. Well, you're in luck because it's currently invite only, so I can invite you to this card. Um, all you need to do is drop your shake tag, which is your username and shake pay, down in the comments and I'll send you the invite and you'll be able to use this card um, once you've been approved. And go on top of that during the holiday season, and you get 2% cash back on Bitcoin rewards and up to 4% cash back if you invite more people to start using the card. And they are donating proceeds to uh, children's charities. So details about the card, it is a Visa debit card. So this means you can only spend what you've put on the card. So it's kind of like a reloadable card, similar to Coho, Mogo, or Crypto.coms. There's no credit application necessary where they do a credit check, what your income level is, whatever. It's simply just use it as a debit card. Now, currently, it's not a physical card. It's only available through Apple Pay or Google Pay. Now, there are limits to the card. You can only spend 3,000 per day or 50,000 per month. And it does have a 3% foreign currency transaction fee. So it's not ideal for purchasing stuff online in US dollars or traveling. Um, so keep that in mind. So once you have the account, have been fully verified, you need money in the account to spend. So you can e-transfer or wire transfer into the account. It will go under your cash deposits in the account. E-transfers for me can take anywhere from instantly to up to one hour. Once the money is in the account, you're able to purchase with whatever money you have. Now you cannot spend your Bitcoin or Ethereum. You're gonna to need to sell this to Canadian dollars in order to spend on the card. So you really can only spend what Canadian dollars you have. Now once you've sent money into the card, you're gonna to have to leave the app and sign up to Google and Apple Pay. You can then connect the card to Google and Apple Pay for you to use either on your cell phone or your watch. You can only use this card where it accepts credit card tap function um, or websites that allow you to use Google and Apple Pay. So there's no actual physical card currently. And this is coming in 2021, according to ShakePay. So you can't have reoccurring bills on this card yet. You can't um, do some online purchases unless that online website supports Apple and Google Pay. And then you can make that payment on your device. The rewards you receive in Bitcoin are based on the rate of when your transaction settles with the merchant. So this can be anywhere from one hour to two days before you receive the Bitcoin. This isn't because of ShakePay, this is because of the Visa network. And in the Visa network, transactions can take that long depending on the merchant, depending on what um, systems they use. So you ever paying a business, understand that that money might not even settle for two days later on the Visa network. And this is kind of what Bitcoin is trying to fix. Now you'll see the rewards come through as sats. This might be a little confusing for newcomers. And what sats are is the best upcoming cryptocurrency that you can get your hands on, has the most users, has the fastest transactions, has probably the biggest upside, and you can buy one sat for less than a cent. No, 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 I'm just messing with you. But your ape brain probably got excited and you're like, oh, I need to get some sats. Seem cheap. No, satoshis are just denominations of Bitcoin. So when you hear the word sats, it's really like cents to dollars. So one Bitcoin is made up of 100 million sats. And sats is short for satoshis. And this is the guy who invented Bitcoin. So we've talked about all the benefits of the card. Just to recap, you're going to get one to 4% back in Bitcoin. 
on all of your purchases in pretty much the best asset that humanity has created up to this date. You can take all of your Satoshis, your Bitcoin off of the app. ShakePay pays for those fees. Now I do think that the Bitcoin community has a lot of hype and over excitement when it comes to this card and probably everybody signing up and buying all of their holiday gifts with this card today. So I wanna go over some of the cons that come with this card. Number one is kind of the regulatory environment. And this is kind of out of ShakePay's control, but previously they did have a Visa card or a credit card that they were trying to develop. A recent interview um, from the CEO said one day their merchant that they were using the card with just shut them down overnight and said, nope, cannot use this anymore. So back then, Bitcoin was really kind of new, upcoming. There was a lot of unknowns about it. Today, it's a lot more solidified, but it's still something that's kind of against the government, against big banks and against visas and MasterCards. So it's definitely less of a risk today at being taken away from a moment's notice but it is still there. So I really wouldn't be comfortable sending all of your money into here using this as your kind of day-to-day -day spending or checking account. Two, usability is not quite there yet. Without a physical card, it's hard to do some online purchases, hard to do recurring purchases. Um, you can only do places that accept Google Pay or Apple Pay with tap, um, but this again is gonna be fixed in the future. And another thing people don't think about much is privacy. So they just sign up to this app, they say, yes, I'm gonna get 1% cash back in Bitcoin, I got $30 for free for signing up, boom, 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 you're in. But what ShakePay has is all of your information, all of your e-transfers in, all of your Bitcoin buys, all of your Bitcoin sells, all of your transactions to your own personal wallet so they might know how much you have, and along with this, every single purchase you make with a card and every single location you make with a card. So this is a lot of financial data that they can get on you in one place. So all this data is very valuable to companies, marketers, governments, and could be at risk. So it's kind of best to, when you're spending on this card or using ShakePay, that just kind of always act as if there's somebody always over your shoulder watching what you do. But overall, ShakePay keeps delivering with great, easy to use Bitcoin products for Canadians. This is a one of a kind card that deserves respect in Canada. Over a long enough time frame, I think we're gonna look back and say, wow, this is probably one of the best rewards cards in the history of Canada based on probability of Bitcoin success. If you wanna get started with ShakePay, um, my referral link's below. You get $30 for free when you sign up and make your first $100 purchase. You're already up 30%. Drop your Shake tag below, which is your username and ShakePay. If you want to be invited to this, I'll do my best to try to invite you so you can get up to 4% cash back this month. And I have other reviews on my channel if you wanna check out crypto.com, what's kinda of different with it. Or if you kinda of just wanna check out ShakePay the Exchange if it's right for you, also have videos on my channel on that and uh, thanks for watching.